in the area of information solutions, and we do like to think about it as solutions uh, versus just pure technology. Um, there have been traditional technologies or, or solutions that have been put in place. Business intelligence, uh, master data management, ETL types of tools. They're all designed to mine information and provide insight into a situation problem or, uh, or dilemma that a customer might be uh, resolving. Um, if you look at information solutions in, in particular, um, some of the things that you want to derive as benefits in, it would be around um, reducing cost um, or risk, potentially, um, if you're looking at fraud and abuse, um, situational awareness, where you're trying to understand um, what might be happening around a certain location, especially when it comes to uh, uh, first responders or those types of things. So there's a variety of information technology solutions that you can ap apply to customer problems. I think the first thing you need to think about is um, alignment to mission. Right? Anything we do on the IT side in particular truly is about ensuring that you're supporting the mission of the organization. So um, that might be obvious to some people, but, but clearly that, um, that is a key uh, as, you, as you go forward. You also need to think about ways to um, bring, in, bring together disparate data sources that you haven't had in the past. Um, and look at things a little bit more holistically. Take a unified approach to information. Um, don't just concentrate on the structured information, truly, but the unstructured information. And what I mean by unstructured information is that human side of information. Things that you can see and hear, video, chat, um, social media, those types of things. So consider um, all of those different types of information as, as um, how you would approach your solution. Certainly reducing the risk of uh, fraud and abuse in particular. Um, also about um, better service to the citizens. So if you have an application that you have for a citizen um, and you are getting a lot of call center um, uh, calls about that because you're, they're having difficulty accessing something or whatever. There are things that you can do today, technologies that you can apply, such as our Autonomy Qfinity tool, um, that will allow you to actually mine that um, text or that conversation. That will actually enable you to understand if there's a root cause problem as to why people are doing, um, making those calls to the call center. In that case, it's um, then a simple process of understanding how you can address that root cause and lowering cost to government overall.